Yes, welcome back to another session on RPA Automation Anywhere A360. And today we are going to learn um, analyze command. So analyze command, what is analyze command? Um, we can call it as bot insights in Automation Anywhere A360 as well. So bot insight is, is an Automation Anywhere enterprise analytics part platform. So that provides a real-time interactive and smart uh, insights about business processes and operational intelligence. Okay, uh, so uh, it automatically creates uh, insights, uh, I mean, uh, dashboards. So in a graphical representation, it, transfer, it translates the data captured by the deployed bots into insights, and it will automatically uh, generate customized uh, uh, dashboards. So let's see, let's get started. Now we are in Automation Anywhere A360 uh, homepage. So let me create a new bot. Let me click on create new bot. Once you click on create new bot, uh, we need to provide a, a few details such as name, description, folder, where do you want to save the specific task? So let me rename it to Insights. Description is optional. And let me choose the folder. So I want to store these files under A360 and let me click on choose. If you have any queries or questions like how to install the Automation Anywhere A360 bot agents, how to start, how to create the public and private folders, what is scanner bot, what is discovery bot, array functionalities, everyone, each and every steps. Uh, if you have any queries and concerns, okay. Uh, please drop in message in the comment section. I'll get back to you. Uh, so let me click on create and edit. So once you click on create and edit, it will navigate to the um, uh, development workbench. So um, in the development workbench, in the left hand side, you can see. Uh, list of actions. By using this list of actions, we can develop a new bot. So today we are going to discuss analyze command. So under analyze command, we can see open and close sub commands. Okay. Um, so uh, in real time scenarios, let's suppose a bot is going to process thousand records or two thousand records or one lakh records. Our bot is going to process some specific country data. Our bot is going to process some uh, financial data, records, general CMPs, invoices, tickets. So uh, if you want to represent the output in a graphical representation, yes, we can utilize analyze data. Let's see. So for example, I'll take a simple loop command. Loop. I'll just loop uh, for, uh, for uh, um, 20 times. I loop 20 times and I'll assign it to a specific variable. Let me create a variable of number type and it is counter variable. Let me click on save. And let me create another variable. Um, let me give it a number data type. And I'll provide name as, let's say, H, for example, H. Let me click on create. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, increment uh, uh, the edge with the counter. Um, let me go to action command and let me go to assign number activity. Uh, so I have already covered these data types, number, list, string, data types. Uh, please go through the uh, playlist, Automation Anywhere A360 playlist, and there you can find uh, uh, all the uh, videos related to A360. So uh, you can just uh, uh, watch that uh, data types uh, videos uh, for a better understanding. So let me drag and drop the assign activity and here I am going to assign 
H V H plus one or we'll add plus ten and we'll assign it back to the VH variable only. And let me click on save. Uh, so uh, in a real time scenarios, uh, what is going to process different kinds of records, tickets, INCs, invoices, or repetitive tasks. Uh, so each and everything we are going to represent in a uh, graphical representations by using bot insights. So for example, just I have uh, you know uh, taken one small uh, example to loop uh, 20 times. So let's consider these uh, variables as a real time uh, scenarios. And uh, let me go to analyze command. Let me drag and drop to open command. We need to all the uh, project scope into uh, analyze, open, and close commands. And uh, here, open command just we need to provide the translation name. Uh, you can just pass the session name or uh, translation name and the same session name we have to utilize in the close analyze command as well. And the business translation type, whether it is a success scenario or whether it is a fail scenario or error scenario, whatever the scenario you want to represent in the graphical representation, here you can provide the details uh, such as uh, success, fail or, you know, you know error, so something like that. And what are all the variables you want to map or you want to represent in the graphical representation in the rows and columns, you can utilize those things. Let me select counter and ish and let me click on save. So here I'll just drag and drop a message box. Message box, sorry. Message box. Uh, so here I will just print the vh variable vh dot to string. So here I'm explicitly converting the number data type to string data type or else what we can do. We can also you know, use to string um, command under number package. So I have covered all these um, commands and packages in the number package video. Um, okay. Uh, so let me choose the close message after uh, F one second and let me click on save. I'll run the button. So this analyze command provide a real time business insights and a digital workforce performance in a graphical representation. Let's see. So the bot is running now and message box is automatically closing after on every because we have selected close message box after checkbox. So it will loop 20 times. Yes, done. Okay, so your bot has run successfully. Now, what we will click on uh, three dots and we'll select analyze task what it will redirect it to bot insight let's see what all all the information we have in the bot insight so whatever the task or project we have so all those information we can see in the bot uh, uh, insight in the graphical representation here you can see number of counter, how many records, what has processed, so 20. And uh, VH, so what is the total is 200, something like that. So here, what, all the information you see, like profile, what kind of uh, data types you have used, and minimum, maximum, average, sum, 
you know, distinct count, VH, or what kind of data type it is, what is the display name or variable name, you know, uh, you can see all the related information over here. Also, you can also see the preview. So the counter variable, we counter variable, total number of records, task name, and the transaction name, everything we can see it over here. I'm using community edition, so a few features are disabled actually. So uh, in enterprise edition, you can see the graphical representation and you can perform and you can edit um, customized graph representation. And here you can see the attributes or transaction status, name, username, mission name. Uh, you know, uh, you can get all the details like uh, uh, mission name, VDI name details and username and transaction name. And what are all the variables we have tagged to that particular thing like counter variable. And, uh, you know, we can also set up the range uh, for that. We can customize the graphical representation uh, by using the bot insight. Okay, uh, so that's all. Uh, that's all for today, guys. And hope you like this video. Um, and please subscribe. Um, and don't forget to click on bell icon. So that's why you'll be notified every time when I upload a new lesson or video, I'm going to upload a series of videos on automation anywhere version 11 and a360 as well as microsoft power platforms python and excel macros as well uh, so please don't forget to click on uh, bell icon and please subscribe my channel thank you